Well, thanks to Kim Kardashian, teenage girls, some of them are coming down with what's being called a vocal fry. And you yeah. might have heard it. It's a popping and rattling in their voice, which take place at a very low frequency. And our career expert, Kim McNicholas, CEO of video communications platform, Kim Review, says good luck getting a job with yeah. that tough-to-listen vocal tone. Oh, it's absolutely awful. I don't know mm. if you've I'm sure you've heard it. I, maybe I have, but I haven't given a name to it. It's that you can hear it in the vowels when it's that, uh, okay. you know, and uh -huh. it, it sounds like sizzling bacon. And I have a clip, actually, of oh, Kim good. Kardashian. Oh, take a look at it. So why don't we roll that so you can hear it. Hey guys, there's no reason why your phone shouldn't be as glamorous as your shoes. Get your glam on with me and my glam squad and check out the new Sony Ericsson Equinox. So the squad. Squad. Yeah. Shoes. And oh. it sounds absolutely awful. It sounds like break bacon fry, it right? It does. It does. It is It is annoying. And it's it's really just hard to listen to. And you go into a job interview or mm -hmm. you go into a pageant interview or you go into a pitch or presentation, it's not a commanding voice. It's a very immature, mm -hmm. very unprofessional voice. And many times what we've learned is that something like that on a first impression could completely X you out of that job. Well, it could because people want to talk to people they want to listen to and they're going to end that interview early if they don't like how you sound. Yeah, so what are some exercises that we can do to try to get rid of that? Okay, so here's my disclaimer. Okay. So I'm only going to share the, the, the exercises that really worked for me. If you want permanent change, you really need to go to a speech pathologist or a vocal coach, which I did, which is where I learned all of these exercises. I had a great voice growing up mm -hmm. and then I wanted so much to fit in and so I, ch I consciously changed my voice to make them hot to make it higher to make it into that little girl voice I had a little bit of vocal fry and I ended up because of that I hurt my vocal cords oh. and I lost my voice for nine weeks Wow! so, so this hits home for you it really yeah. really does and uh, I, I got the idea to come on here and do this because I realized it was a grander problem when a couple of the young women that I mentor um, said I really need help can you just share what you've learned with me so I can just shift it a little bit and start to see an improvement okay so let's go through a couple of these so one of them, it really relaxes your voice. It starts mm -hmm. to make you conscious of you know, your breath and, and creating you know, breath support. And so what you're going to do is when you breathe in, yes. you're going to say, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. And when you breathe out, same thing, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. So tilt okay. your neck back. Okay. And as you breathe in, oh, I, oh, oh I, oh, I, oh, I. That takes some getting used to. <laughs> it really, really does. But what you don't want to speak what, it. What does it do? It, it just settles your voice in. It gets the air support in there, and it and it teaches you to just feel the air, at, you know, going through mm -hmm. as your your consonants and your vowels are going through the voice going through. So once again, it's oh I oh I oh I oh I. And then okay. you can actually, you can hear it in my voice. Mm -hmm. It just starts to relax. Okay. And that's a very important thing that a lot of people don't pay attention to is, is just relaxing your voice when you go into something, yes. a stressful situation like a job interview, something like that. You have another uh, tip? One of my favorites. So this is really, really my favorite. And every single time I share this with someone, I do it very privately because it can be a little <laughs> embarrassing. But you realize your muscle is actually a tongue. And so you can stretch your tongue out. Oh, and really? you really want to work that tongue because if you think about it, it's such a big muscle and it can block your vocal cord. Uh -huh. It can block the air, block the, the voice from coming out. So you want to stretch it. And so what you're going to do is you're going to stretch it down, stretch it to each side, stretch it up. And my favorite is you stretch it out. Now you want to make sure that you don't strain your tongue uh -huh. by, by stretching too much. But Pull a tongue muscle. Exactly. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I've done that before. Actually, embarrassingly, really? I have done that. So huh. All right. um, what you want to do mm -hmm. is stretch it down first. Okay. Into the side. And other side. Uh -huh. Up <laughs> and straight out. Okay. And you can automatically, you can hear it in my voice. It just really relaxes it. How many times should you repeat that? I usually do it twice, just before okay. I go into a presentation. But All if right. you think about it, before you when, before you run or before you exercise, mm -hmm. you stretch. After you run or after you exercize, you stretch as same. well. 
Exactly. Okay. All right, and I understand you have another one as well. Yes, and so there are a lot of the girls have these high-pitched yes. little girl voices, mm -hmm. and one of the things um, that one of my vocal coaches taught me is to start lowering your voice is to do exercises like you would do if you were a singer and use the vowel, A-E-I-O-U. And so what you want to okay. do is well, every time you get to the U, you want to start dipping your voice a little bit lower and feel it going down and down more into your, your lungs. So A-E-I-O-U, U, 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 U. Wow. A-E-I-O-U, U, 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 U. Uh -huh. And it just really helps to expand your vocal range. And again, do that a couple times maybe? Right. All right. Do you do all these in combination? I, I don't do them all at once. Mm -hmm. um, I'll do a few of them. I'll do the breathing exercise with the O-I-O-I-O-I. -O -I -O -I. Yeah. I'll do the tongue exercise. And here's another great one for, for diction and for rounding out those vowels. Because one of the things when you, you have that vocal fry, mm -hmm. you're squeezing and it's like, uh, uh. So you want to open everything up. And uh -huh. so um, that song, Raindrops on Roses, the, from The Sound of Music, my yes. favorite things, yes. you don't want to sing it. The biggest mistake that people make is you go into the singing of it. I'm not a singer, <laughs> I'm just warning you. <laughs> but you want to use it for great diction. So for example, rain drops on on roses, roses and not and, and and whiskers not whiskers whiskers, whiskers on, on kittens. kittens exactly so really overemphasize each vowel right and open it up and feel that air circulating through okay great tips and I think you're right doing it in private would probably be helpful <laughs> <laughs> but they really work they're not no. permanent fixes once right. again so it's great to see a speech pathologist All or right. a vocal coach thank you for the tips Kim great to see you're you welcome. we'll be right back <laughs>